Hey guys, it's Pop Scrap here. Um, scrapping apart is a nibbleizer, and it's a machine used for breeding uh, people with asthma and hard to breed with their chest and stuff like that. Usually it's for kids um, when they're young with asthma. I started taking it apart a bit and I said I'd make a video on it because it's interesting to find out what's in these. Usually you only see these in the doctors. Um, my next door neighbour had it. It stopped working, they said it stopped, stopped pumping whatever medicine they had into in through it. Um, this is the box here actually. For it. It was kept well and I had it for about three years and it told me that uh, just stopped working at the end and didn't need it anyway. Just taking up room, stopped working, stopped working, there's no bother checking how to get it working again. Um, they said they got in a little or Aldi or somewhere like that, so I didn't know a place like that does these stuff. But So I said I'd start taking it apart, so we got the plug, put a little bit of brass, a uh, bit of wire on it, and I just took out the few screws out of it here, just opened it up, a piece of plastic, a little bit of wire, we'll get to that in a minute, and we have this motor. I thought it would be more complex than this. But it's very simple it looks. Um, try and get into this here. It's a piece of plastic, again another screw. Another piece of plastic, whatever makes this kind of tick, I don't know. So it's like a piston. As you can see, when you twist that, it goes up. It's pretty cool. So what we have here is we have a nice bit of copper here. So which I will be taking that off. And a nice bit of copper here too. So we're gonna cut this off. Gotta peel it back, that'll be brass. Which that'll be going into my brass bucket. More bit of wire. I'm trying to scrap all my brass now I can get. More brass. So two little pieces of wire, hopefully this is not a Chinesium, it's a nice copper, should be nice copper in this, which you just don't know these days. Aluminium. Isn't that amazing guys? <laughs> That's all aluminium. You can nearly tell by the look of the wire straight away when you looked into it. So we have a lump of Chine uh, Chineseium, as I call it, and the lads call it. So what I'll do with this now basically, I'll take that off and I'll put it in with my aluminium. And I'll take this bit of copper off I will. I might be able to get it here now at the minute. But um I'll get it now in a few minutes off. I'll take a bit of copper off. So, so far it was a bit disappointing what's in it. Not really much value wise in it. A bit, but not really what I thought it would be in it. We'll take off these two screws here. So what we have here is a connection, screw off connection, whatever, a fuse. Pretty cool. Uh, this is another piece of brass. Put that over there. Which hopefully it's peel down. Which it won't, not in these ones. So another piece of little wire. A couple of more pieces of wire. Little bits of brass here on this, which they should be simple to pull off as they are. It all adds up, guys. Believe me, when you do this every day, a couple hours a day, it all adds up. These little bits at the end. So that's that off. 
So two pieces of lots of plastic in it. I might even just throw that into mortars as is. Won't bother taking off a lot more stuff. I'll just leave that as is. Four motors. Take that tiny piece of copper off that. Bit of wire. Bit of brass. Well, a bit of brass in this. And that's basically it, guys. A nice short video for you. Um, trying to be a lot more in this um, breeding machine. But um, look, at, it's good to scrap out. I didn't see much about them on YouTube. So I said I'd take one apart and see what it's like for you. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.